Welcome back. We continue our conversation with Senator Vin Gopal. Uh, you recently backed legislation to ban smoking on the on beaches. How would that work exactly? Uh, so it, right now, it, public health is a big issue, and you have a lot of children uh, playing on the beaches. It's a public entity. Um, you know, animals that are might be eating cigarette buds. Um, so this would basically allow a town to market 15% of its beach for uh, smokers, and the rest of it uh, you should not be able to smoke. So uh, it's almost like a misnomer to say that they're banned on beaches. There, there would be beaches where people could smoke. At the discretion of the municipality. So, oh, so the, if the municipality wants to give 15% of the beach towards a smoking section, uh, they, they can completely do that. Now, I, I know for non-smokers like myself, th this is great. Yeah. I would imagine you've had some pushback from smokers. Uh, a little bit, but I think they understand. You know, we've seen a rise uh, throughout the decades in secondhand smoking, and, um, you know, this is not uh, someone's home or even private establishment. This is a uh, public beach, so it's in, it's in the public health interest of everybody. Uh, and I think we're being more than reasonable in the legislation to put the 15% in, so we're trying to respect everyone's rights. The opioid crisis has hit your your district hard, as in most districts around the state. A lot of money and a lot of attention has been funneled into the opioid crisis, and yet figures came out recently showing that in New Jersey the numbers have gone up yeah. uh, of overdoses. What is not being done? What, what's, what's being missed? I think we've seen a real failure in leadership in the, in the last administration um, that put up TV ads nonstop to try to solve this uh, issue. I'm, I'm pleased with the current administration uh, on this policy. The Murphy administration, I think, has done a, a good job saying we're not going to put people on TV ads. We're actually going to focus on getting folks help, uh, making sure that there's a rehab program. And we're starting to see a lot of that happen now through the Department of Health. So I'm optimistic that things will change. But um, Larry, if you remember over the last several years, all we saw was Chris Christie on TV that and, you know, and with the with the phone number. That is not. It was a marketing campaign. It wasn't, there was nothing done really to uh, actually help people. Now, marketing is important, and it's a piece of it, but it's got to be a larger, larger model. The, the prosecutor, the sheriff, the prosecutor in Monmouth County, the prosecutor in um, Ocean County have, have done some yeoman's work when it comes sure. to the opioid crisis. As a matter of fact, in Ocean County, which used to be the epicenter, the numbers have gone down. I, I would think that you'd want to bring those people into the conversation to find out what they have done, how they made their numbers go down, when in other counties it's gone dramatically up. Absolutely. And the prosecutor here in Monmouth County, Chris Grimiccioni, has done a fantastic job, and he's been uh, very um, forthright and and um, really looking forward on how to solve a lot of these issues. And we've been in contact with his office a lot uh, about every single uh, different potential challenge that's happening. So we have good leadership, but now we have to invest in making sure people, A, get help, and B, that they don't go back to the same place they were just in. I know you recently had firearms legislation. I know the governor came out to talk about uh, new proposals and new legislation. I'm not sure. I mean, Jersey has some of the toughest gun laws in the country, if not the toughest. And, and yet you still have a problem. You had the shooting in Trenton just the other day. Until you can stop the flow of guns from Pennsylvania especially, but in Pennsylvania and Delaware and bordering states, you can pass all the gun laws in the world. It doesn't seem like it's effective. Sure. Well, look, there's. Uh, it's all about time. If we had more time in Florida for authorities to um, to find out that this, this young man had a, for example, a, a history of animal violence, beating up dogs and cats and hurting them, and he was still able to buy guns. If, if we were able to get more intelligence and more information for authorities, we might have been able to stop that shooting. So we're never going to end gun violence altogether. We have to stop the illegal guns coming from Georgia and these other states. But these laws should, while they might add a few extra steps for um, legal gun owners who are trying to do the right thing, if, even if it buys us a few weeks, a few months, whatever it does to make sure that we take out those that are looking to harm people, uh, I think it's important. And, and that goes for folks with a mental health history that might not be able to be in the right place to buy a gun, someone who has a history of animal abuse. I think all of these things are important. And as we saw down in Parkland, Florida, uh, we had some uh, sheriff's officers outside with guns who did not come in. So the, the theory that a good guy with a gun always beats a bad guy with a gun isn't true. 
Um, but we need, it's got to be comprehensive. And the illegal guns coming in, those are, we can't control the laws that other states are doing. And obviously we have to uh, try to force federal legislation. But New Jersey has some of the strongest gun laws and we can go further. And I think that's why, knock on wood, we're in a little bit of a better situation than some of the other states. And I would think with your possible. legislation, it, it, even responsible gun owners would, would back that. Yeah, a lot of responsible gun owners I've talked to, they understand. They're like, listen, we, there's a process to, to get a driver's license, to buy a car, to buy insurance. The gun, responsible gun owners I've talked to, they understand that it, if they have to have a longer waiting period, if they have to go through a few extra steps just to keep people safe, that that's okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so Good much. Good seeing you Thanks. again. Senator Vin Gopal. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Coming up on Jersey Matters, they're going to try one more time to fine you for using plastic bags. We'll tell you where the legislation stands when Jersey Matters continues.